Hi everyone, I'm Uzonic, international artist, songwriter, and producer. Today I'm going to continue with uh, building black wealth. The last video I posted was about my album, but I'll, I'll continue with the album. I just have some things to get off my chest about building black wealth. So today we're going to jump into the topic of building black wealth but we have to look to, to in order to to build black wealth we have to learn how to be healthy I'm guilty of that too I know I have my issues or struggles with with health but we all have to learn how to be healthy right that way we stay out of the hospitals and we stay and if we stay out of the hospitals it's a good thing because then we stay out of the medicines that doctors prescribe for you to be on for the rest of your life. They're not prescribing something that's going to cure you, but they are prescribing pills that will just keep you paying them money, drug companies. You're going to keep on paying the drug companies money until you die, basically. So we have to learn how to be healthy. How do we be healthy? first by eating right we have to eat right I'm guilty of that too trust me I know what I'm dealing with and I'm working on that but we have we have to eat right we have as black people we have to eat less starch so we could eat stuff like white bread the potatoes and, and uh, starchy foods like fries and things like that potatoes yams and all those things are starchy food we have to eat them in moderate portions like really you, you can't be eating a lot of potatoes all the time because that's starch you can't be eating a lot of rice rice is starch people starch turns into sugar sugar turns into diabetes diabetes is a killer among black americans and black people as a whole so we have to get rid of the starch we have to eat less starch we have to eat more fruits and vegetables eat more fruits and vegetables and that's better for you eat less meat less meat you have to eat less meat because if you don't have your health you can't even worry about building wealth i mean if you're not healthy at all you're going to be sick and in the hospital in and out of the hospital so you're not even going to be thinking about like building wealth if you have to spend a lot of money or if you don't even have money and you have to go through all this situation to be back and forth in the hospital the stuff like mcdonald's and stuff we all have to get away from foods like that every once in a while it's okay maybe once every other week or something like that we have to get away we have to drink more water drink more water and we have to detoxify our bodies at least, I say at least twice a month. I don't know what the doctor is going to say because, again, doctors, they do not, they do not cure anything. They just, they just uh, basically, uh, they just prescribe medicine for you to just take for the rest of your life. So... You, should, you guys should also check out Dr. CB. I think it's called Dr. CB, S-E-B-I, Cell Foods, Dr. CB, Cell Foods .com. But basically, he's a nutritionist, and he, he um, informs the public about herbs to take that will help them detoxify the toxins out of the bodies that will help them to basically eat right, I mean, or, or just naturally lose weight, you know, with, with natural herbs. These are some of the things we have to do as black people. So we should de try to detox twice a month. A natural way to detox is like fasting, but you have to fast, drink water, and eat a lot of green apples like the real green sour apples but if you can't stand sour apples then maybe you might have to use like herb pills or something like that to detox you could detox sometimes with laxative but again laxative is chemicals that's made so it's still not going to take out everything out of your body it'll take out 
maybe old food out of your body, but not everything. We have to eat less, less or no meat and fish. We have to eat less. If we're gonna, if we are meat eaters, some people are vegans, but if you are a meat eater like myself, you have to eat less. You can't be eating a lot of meat. You can't even eat a lot of fish. Just eat less of those things, you know. Uh, red meat. I heard red meat. Um, basically, the if you eat a lot of red meat, you're probably gonna end up with high blood pressure. So again, you have to eat in moderation. Don't eat in very small portions. And it's good to eat in small portions throughout the day instead of just eating a huge meal, you know, at one time, at one sitting. Things like that have a lot of sugar in it. Sugar is not good. Sugar turns into diabetes. Starch turns into sugar. Sugar turns into diabetes. Exercise. Try to exercise a lot. If you have a gym membership, you don't even have to run on a treadmill. Just walk on the treadmill. If you walk on the treadmill for one hour every single day, I mean, my schedule is busy, but I'm, I'm trying to go there at least a few times. I play basketball at least every other week or something like that, but I, I have to do a little better myself. That's just for me. But I'm talking about if you're getting much older, it's easier for you to get a disease like diabetes and high blood pressure and those things. So that's the time you have to be a little bit, bit more cautious of what you eat and a little bit more active as far as working out. I have the, this pill, uh, these herbs. This is natural herb pills. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called black seed. Black seed is good because it helps people with cold who have diabetes, colon cancer. I mean, this thing was actually used to cure a lot of things. You could do your own research on it. Don't take my word for it. But this, I take it every day. I take two in the morning, two in the night. So when I started, I was taking one in the morning, one in the night. It's no chemicals. It's, it's all natural. It's not chemically made. This is not a natural herb, uh, 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 black seed black seed so you can research black seed on Google or wherever else read up about it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about things like inflammation in your body it helps that it helps a lot of stuff so if you need some black seed you can actually order it from my website I'm gonna have just go to the donate on my home page or even on my my CD page which is www.mrpelc.com I have a donate button on the bottom of that page, or you could go to the Inspire page with my new album. Hit the donate button. I'm selling this for uh, $15 for two bottles, so you'll get two bottles. It's 60 caps in each bottle. If you if you need this stuff, this stuff will help you with a lot of stuff, and you could go ahead and research and see everything it will help you with. If you have diabetes, if you have cancer, if you have, I mean, just for overall health, I'm just taking it for overall health. It helps me to not be tired. I mean, it's just good, man. It helps with dieting, like weight loss. Another thing that's good is turmeric. I don't know if you know about turmeric, but turmeric is uh, Indian. It's kind of like an Indian spice. I guess they grow it a lot in India. But it's really good too if you have stuff like diabetes and high blood pressure. Turmeric is really good. Um, cinnamon, cinnamon is really good as well. Not just cinnamon, cinnamon bun, but cinnamon itself, the spice. Get it from Walmart. It's real cheap, and you could use it. Put in like, put in some tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking. Hot chocolate, a little bit of cinnamon every day is good for your high blood pressure and diabetes and uh, I'm just you know I love my black people I'm concerned about you guys I'm concerned about our health I see how the health system is messed up even though we have the Obamacare now it's still not perfect but it's okay but that shouldn't stop us from eating right all this extra sugary foods we eat leave the sugary food alone when I say sugary food even the soda we drink it's a lot of 
I mean, I, I, I've had the experience of working in a food manufacturing plant a long time ago, and things like potassium and then, I mean, all kind of, like stuff that you would think that humans should not, sodium and all kinds of chemicals are being put together in these foods. These food, and they, they claim it's preservatives, but these same preservatives turn around and give people cancer. So we have to be careful of what we eat every day as black people. We have to eat right. Just to recap, because I'm going to another topic next. If you want a bottle of this black seed, first of all, please do your research about this. Don't take my word for it. It's called black seed. Black coming seed. Go online. Do some research about this. Read on the, the health benefits of this thing. You know, and I just told you turmeric, T-U-M-E-R-I-C. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, cinnamon, cinnamon is really good as well. Eat less salt in your food. Eat less starchy foods like rice. If you're going to eat rice, eat very small portions of rice. Don't eat a lot. Uh, wheat bread is good. The white bread is not good because there's a lot of starch. Potatoes are okay, but potatoes, guess what? It's starch as well. Uh, African people love cassava. Cassava is actually really good because it has magnesium and things. But still, don't eat a lot. Eat a little bit. And um, we have to eat more fruits and vegetables. Drink more water. Leave the soda alone. The beer. Is, all those things are not too good. We, I mean, we could drink it, but like once every week or every other week, something like that. Um, we have to... Uh, we have to detox our bodies at least twice a month. Detox, I said twice a month. Some people might want to be extreme and do it once a week. If you want to do that, it's on you. But I would detox my body at least twice a month. Laxative is still chemically made. It, it will help, but not the natural way. So if you want to detox your body the natural way, you'll have to do some fasting and eat green apples for a few days. Just green apples, drink water, and fast. And that will detox your body. If you do it for like three days straight or four days, that's really going to get uh, the toxic toxins out of your body. Eat less meat or no meat at all. If you're going to eat fish, eat less fish. Uh, uh, certain fish, I forgot the fish name, but uh, I don't know if it's snapper or something, but it has some problem recently. I mean, they found some things in it. So we all have to be doing research and checking on these things that we're eating. But a lot of the processed foods are not good. If you're going to buy foods, go to the organic, organic section. I know it's expensive, but try to start getting used to that. Even the milk, sometimes they add preservatives. That's why it goes sour. I'm going to give you another formula. If you don't want your milk going sour and you know the, the date is about to expire in two or three days, guess what? Put it in the freezer and freeze it. Freeze that milk and, and you're still going to have a lot of days on it. Freeze the milk before the expiration date, like at least two or three days before. And after that, when the expiration date is already passed and you take the milk out, it will still be fresh. These preservatives are put in this stuff to last up to a certain time. So we all have to be aware of some of these things. The next thing I'm going to talk about uh, quickly, which is a different topic, is uh, is a distribution, black distribution. So, you know, you have all these black folks in Hollywood and I, and just to piggyback on uh, the conversation that's going on now between uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, she made a comment about uh, about black people boycotting the Oscars because there was not enough representation of black people at the Oscars, which makes sense. However, Janet Hubert, which was uh, on Viv on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, um, I think back in 1990 to 93, she was there. She made a statement countering that and even going at uh, Will Smith and his wife about, you know, about what they were saying. And she was bas basically saying that um, uh, Jada Pinkett should not tell black people to boycott this and that. First of all, I applaud Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith for, for doing that because something has to start changing people's mindset. 
begging people for for these jobs and things is not right man like we're humans and we we are smart people black people we are smart we are educated why do we feel like we always have to beg and that's what jada was saying jana on the other hand she's saying she did say there are better things to worry about in the world but she's saying that uh how you call it black actors shooting boycott the oscars this and that and i don't agree with that because that's the same begging me mentality if you have talent you should be able to find a way to make money you shouldn't be letting the money uh the money be your boss or the money should enslave you and that's what janet huber is talking about and i do not agree with her okay let's go to the distribution side you have black folks in hollywood who are very smart they're actors, they're, they're, you know, musicians or whatever. But guess what? They still don't have their own distribution company. If y'all don't want to go through the whole process of uh, having uh, uh, distributors left and right, the easiest way to make money will be to get a group of your acting friends together, come up with a company plan, and say, you know what? We're going to distribute distribute our films to every single mom and pop store in the United States. The white folks ain't going to be able to track all that money. Guess what? Because not every store has a scanner. Stores like Best Buy and Target and Walmart will be able to track your sales, but not every store. So if you start building your little database of these stores, offering them your, your brochures with your different movies that you're coming up with and flooding these markets, these small little convenience stores, mom and pop stores, uh, uh, DVD stores, or music stores with your product in a, in a different black communities, you're going to make money because the store is going to order directly from you and they could be ordering 50 copies, 100 copies. That money, the white people ain't going to be able to track it or uh, the white system, Hollywood system is not going to be able to track how much you earn. But y'all gonna keep making money, so you have to put your little team together. I know a lot of black people can't work together, but you still have friends. So the friends gotta get together and form this alliance and say, you know what? We're gonna flood the market with our movies. Do it like in Nigeria. The Nigerian people have the movies in almost every single small shop in the country. We could do the same thing here. North Carolina alone has gas stations in a convenience stores all every single corner you know what i'm saying you got uh, the hispanic stores as well so you could flood the market with you with your films and putting out quality films with good positive messages right in the community walking distance from some people homes they'll be able to go to these homes and get your films Forget about Hollywood, man. Y'all could even start your own little Hollywood in another state. It doesn't have to be California, or even if it is in Cali California, it's somewhere else, another little city. And y'all start doing your thing. Same thing with black record labels. You have all these record labels, small record labels, mid-sized, huge record labels, but they're owned by black people, and everybody's trying to go through the same tunnel. Everybody want to get distribution by the white man. Hey, look. We need to stop all that stupidity and start working together and flood